It's news day. It's actually t no. It's Monday. Damn it! I wanted to say it's news day, which rhymes with Tuesday, but it's actually Monday. So now I feel ridiculous. Anyway, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. We got a bunch of a uh, weird legacy support here for um, what is this set called? The uh, from the 20th anniversary Legend Collection. Oh. So we got some new interesting cards here. Um, I don't think there's anything too crazy or groundbreaking, but it's legacy support. You're never really expecting legacy support to be like insane. You can hope, but especially these archetypes, these are already the classics that have so much support already that like, I don't know, I just don't expect much more anymore from them. But let's jump into it. Let's start with Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, which is a level 12 light dragon fusion monster. 4,500 attack, 3,800 defense, the same as regular Blue Eyes Ultimate. As a fusion materials, it requires three Blue Eyes White Dragon monsters. Well, it doesn't say monsters, but just three Blue Eyes White Dragon. This card on the field cannot be targeted nor destroyed by your opponent's card effects. That's pretty nice. Nice little protection effect. I mean, a 4,500 beat stick with that kind of protection can just win games. The second effect says once per turn, you can target one card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. <laughs> okay. Uh, if this card was fusion summoned using a monster whose original name is Blue Eyes Alternate Alternative Dra White Dragon. Ha la la. So specifically, Blue Eyes White uh, Alternative White Dragon because I believe it does count as a Blue Eyes White Dragon. I think its name is treated as that on the field, um, or however he works. Um, you can target two or three cards instead. So uh, during the turn this card is activated, this card can attack. So pretty much this card can, if you used a Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon, just target and destroy up to three cards on your opponent's field. That's pretty crazy. Um, this card can just wipe a board. He can't attack that turn, but I understand that because if you resolve popping three cards, you probably just wiped your opponent's board, and there's a good chance you're probably attacking direct. And 4500 is just brutal to be able to attack direct with. Anyway, next we have Magician of Black Chaos Max, which is a level 8 dark spellcaster ritual monster. 2800 attack, 2600 defense, I believe, the same as. Alright, Facebook, you know, calm it down, alright? Hmm? Uh, which is the same as the regular Magician of Black Chaos, I believe. Uh, you can Ritual Summon this card with Chaos Form, it is a max monster, um, and both of his effects are hard once per turns. If this card is Special Summoned, you can tribute one monster you control. During this turn, your opponent cannot activate monster effects. That's pretty tough. Um, I guess you could try to resolve that on your opponent's turn, because it just says Special Summon generically, so if you just have like a Back to the Front, or a Call, by, call of the Haunted, or something, you could just revive him on your opponent's turn and then tribute something, possibly himself, and then your opponent can't uh, activate monster effects, which will end a lot of a lot of decks' turns. So yeah, I'm into that. That's pretty cool. Second effect says, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you could target one spell in your graveyard and add it to your hand. I mean, destroying 100, he's beating over stuff. Uh, might as well get a spell back. You could at least get Chaos Form back, right? Um, yeah. You know, I think this card's pretty interesting, especially in, like, a Chaos Max build. Uh, Blue Eyes Chaos Max is level 8, too. Are they all level 8s? I hope they are, because that makes... The more they get, the more interesting it gets, because they can just use each other. Okay. So this card is really interesting. Uh, Exodia, the Master of the Guard. Oh, God! Whoa! Sorry. Anyway, Exodia, Master of the Guard, is a level 10 dark spellcaster uh, with question mark, question mark stats. Um, this card cannot be special summoned. Okay. If this card was normal summoned by the method of its first effect, battles a dark fiend monster your opponent owns and destroys it, you win the duel. Okay. So somehow you need to, your opponent needs to have a dark fiend? Well, how do you summon it? You contribute five monsters to tribute some of this card, but not set this card. So, ouch. But also, uh, dark beans. Um, I guess you could grinder golem. 
I believe Grinder Golem's a Dark Fiend. Give your opponent Grinder Golem, bounce him back with Akashic, get another Grinder Golem. That's three monsters on the field. But then, I don't know, because Grinder Golem says you can't normal summon that turn. Does this count as your normal summon? So you wouldn't be able to do that in the same turn? Otherwise, that'd be insane. <laughs> you could literally just do that uh, and kill your opponent. It's interesting. Uh, this card's attack and defense are equal to the total original attack and defense of the monsters attributed for its normal summon. Kind of saw that coming. Uh, so he can get pretty big, but he doesn't have any protection. Yeah, I mean, I think he's interesting. He's pretty cool. Um, really cheeky. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure there'll be videos on YouTube of people actually pulling this off, and it'll be pretty hype. But uh, nothing competitive, for sure. Then we have a gorgeous lady here. We have Palladium Oracle Mana. Mana? Mana. I'm going to call her Mana. Uh, it's a level 6 light spellcaster, so I, and she's 27, 20, or 2,700, so I believe she's like the counterpart to Dark Magician Girl, whereas Palladium Oracle Mahad is like the equivalent to Dark Magician, but light. So her first effect is a hard once per turn, and the rest are not. If this card is in your hand or graveyard when exactly one spellcaster monster you control is targeted by your opponent's effect, quick effect, Activate this effect. Special summon this card from your hand or graveyard. So, if your opponent ever targets a spellcaster you control, you can pull her right out. Second effect, level 7 or higher spellcaster monsters you control cannot be destroyed by effects. 7 or higher. So, she doesn't protect herself. She doesn't protect other Dark Magician girls. She only protects higher level spellcasters. So, you not loving that? Not loving that so much. Um, if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, special summon one Dark Magician Girl from your hand deck or graveyard. That's pretty cool that it just pulls a Dark Magician Girl straight out from anywhere. That is pretty cool. Um, but Dark Magician Girl is such a brick. She's more of a brick than Dark Magician because Dark Magician has just more generic support around him anyway. Um... I think she's interesting. I think she has a beautiful design. Like I said, none of this stuff is designed to be super, super uh, competitive. This was a card I was super hopeful for because Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. We saw Blue Eyes Alternative White or White Dragon is actually a pretty good card. Um, and then we have this guy. We have a level seven Dark Dragon, twenty four attack, two thousand defense, pretty basic. Um, cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special summoned from your hand by tributing one red eyes monster from your hand or field. Tributing. Why would we have to tribute that? I. That's what kills it for me because I believe uh, blue eyes alternative white dragon. You just have to reveal a blue eyes in your hand, and that's what this should have been. Just reveal a red eyes monster. Oh, but this kills it. You have to tribute it. It still can be from hand, but you're using two cards to get one monster on the field. And it's not even, like, that good. Oh, yeah, it's brutal, it's brutal, it's brutal. Um, you can only special summon uh, Bright Eyes Alternative once per turn this way. If this card is destroyed by battle, or if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect, you can target one level 7 or lower Red Eyes monster in your graveyard, special summon that target, and if it's a red eyes bee dragon, its original attack becomes doubled. So I guess if you open this with a regular red eyes, you could just um, tribute the red eyes in hand, special summon this guy up. If this guy gets destroyed by battle, I guess you could crash into stuff, but that's assuming your opponent has something bigger than 2400. Um, so I don't know, I mean, it's just a flow, it's just like a okay float effect and that's all he is he's he's a decent special summon with a with an okay float effect he needed an effect like a blue eyes alternative that just like pops something like something like that some kind of just like automatic removal where at least you can make up for the monster you tributed by removing something of your opponents off the field but no he doesn't have that and thusly i believe he's a little disappointing for my taste and then the last card here for this legacy support, at least, is Neo Kaiser Glider. It's a level 6 light dragon. Really cool design. Uh, all of these have really dope artwork, by the way. It's like really oldish classic artwork. We'll, we'll see how it looks like in actual card form because this is online, but uh, they look pretty dope. Anyway, Neo Kaiser Glider, 2400 attack, 2200 defense. Uh, both of those effects are hard once returns. Discard this card and another monster from your hand. 
Then target one normal dragon in your graveyard and special summon that monster. That's interesting. Works with dangers, I guess. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can activate this effect. All monsters your opponent control lose 500 attack until the end of the turn. Um, I mean, I guess going second using the first effect, you just lower all your opponent's stuff. So, But I think that could work with some stuff. I mean, maybe Hieratics, they play normal dragons, blue eyes, red eyes. There's some interesting stuff this could work with for sure. Um, I don't want to count it out. Anyway, we have one new cubic card, which is a trap card called Cubic Omen. Uh, both of the effects are hard ones per turns. The first effect says, place a number of cubic counters on the number up to, sorry, up to the number of cubic monsters you control on face-up monsters your opponent controls. A monster with a cubic counter on it cannot attack and its effects are negated. So, <clears throat> this can be a decent stun card. I mean, you have as long, if you go first, or if you if you knew you're going to be forced to go first, you could this could be a side deck card that you side in, and then you go first, and maybe you don't do a crazy play, but you just normal summon a cubic. Maybe you get two cubics on the field, um, and you set this, and then if your opponent summons, this is more or less just like an impermanence or you know whatever a veil or it's just a quick effect to just negate their effects. Um, oh, I guess this is permanent, huh? Yeah, this is straight up permanent. This is a, yeah, it just says a monster with a cubic counter can attack when it's effects. Are so it's not even until the end of the turn. So your opponent can't even just sit until next turn and then try and activate effects if their monster comes back around. This does just permanently negate. So that is interesting. Uh, and also, if you have multiple cubics, you can place. You can do this to multiple monsters at the same time. So like nightmare, you know, lock boards. You can't just shut those down. That's pretty cool. Uh, but his second effect says you can banish this card from the graveyard. Then target one cubic monster you control during this turn. Each time that monster you control destroys a monster that has a cubic counter on it by battle. Inflict damage to your opponent equal to the original attack of the destroyed monster. That's just extra damage. I mean, cubics are already a heavy OTK deck, and that does make it a little bit easier in those awkward kind of you-go-first duels. I think this card is interesting. I don't think it's really a main deck card. Maybe it could be still, but... Um I think it's at least a side deck card that if you know your opponent's going to like force you to go first, you just side this in and then you got some extra stun, some extra pretty decent stun to hit them with. Alright, and then the last card we have here is a quick effect card called Malefic Divide. Uh, you can target one Malefic monster in your graveyard, special summon that monster, ignoring its summoning conditions, but its effects are negated and it's banished during the end phase. So what you're telling me is this is just... Uh, a monster, a quick effect monster born for one big beat stick with no effects, and it's destroyed during the end phase. There's no other restrictions, so you can't at you can attack. Um, yeah, I mean this isn't anything crazy. I mean maybe if you're playing a malefic deck, this is specifically cute. This could maybe be made for like really used for like making really big uh, XZ's monsters, the like you know level nine, level ten ones. Um, but other than that, I don't really see this card getting much play. Nobody really plays Malefics anyway, unless you're just doing something super cheeky on online. Um, but yeah, guys, that's all the new cards we have for today. A lot of interesting stuff here. Um, I wish some of these legacy cards were a little bit better. This Red Eyes one is the biggest letdown to me because I think Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon is actually a good card. This card is not. Uh, and it makes me, me pain because I love Joey more than Kaiba. I like Red Eyes more than Blue Eyes, and I just want to see them be better. Uh, but not this time. Hopefully in the future we get some better red-eye support. But uh, I'm going to leave it off there, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if you're a red-eyes player and you think this card actually is better than what I think it is, or any of these cards for, for that uh, matter. Maybe Magician of, Play of Chaos Max actually has a place in those ritual decks. Who knows? But let me know if you do. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, do that now if you want to see more stuff from me in the future. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Thanks for watching. Peace.